Alright, so before we get started with actually sculpting our teddy bear, it's important to do a character block out. This is us creating the fundamental shapes in edit mode so that we have a good starting point for when we actually sculpt. This is incredibly important for when you're sculpting any type of character and it really helps to save time uh, in actually getting the correct forms. So we can start off by just going into front view and adding in a subdivision surface modifier. So go to modifiers, add modifier, and add in subdivision surface modifier. So we don't want too much geometry, so we'll keep it low. So I think having a level two subdivision surface modifier is perfect. And what we can do is just scale up our object. So just follow along with what I'm doing and hopefully you'll get a very good character block out. So what I'll do is scale this um, on the X axis. This will be the head of our teddy bear. Uh, maybe just scale up, I don't know, like so. And then we will make the snout. So the snout is just the, I guess the mouth and a bit of the nose. So what we can do is press shift D and then Y to bring it forward. And then we'll scale it down quite significantly and then press G and Z to bring it down like so. So I think that's quite good. And you want to have uh, a decent amount of separation between the main head and the snout, just because when we actually sculpt and remesh, uh, if things are too close, then things won't look right. So it's just good to have a bit of space in between the snout and the head. And then what we can do is press Shift D, Y, and then scale this down even more to create the nose. So again, you want to have a little bit of separation. Don't put them in too close or else they'll just blend together when we remesh, but have them poking out and then we can always change it. Maybe that's poking out a little bit too much. So I'll just press G and Y and push it back in like so. Also, what I like to do for the, uh, the snout here is just press S and X to just have it more angular. Also, if you're having difficulty selecting some of the faces, so if I was to try and select this top face here from this angle, I would only be selecting this face here. So just make sure that you're selecting it from the right position. Uh, what can help is by pressing Alt Z to go into X-ray mode, and then I can select through other pieces, as you can see here. All right, so we can continue creating the, uh, the teddy bear by adding in the body and we can do this by pressing shift a and add in the cube and then just press g and z to bring it down like so i'll scale it up by pressing s to scale maybe just scale it down a bit like so and then loosely connect it to the main or to the head of your teddy bear i would say that if you want your teddy bear to look a bit more cute having a large head does help quite a bit um, so press L and then I'll press S and Y to flatten it a little bit and then maybe s select this bottom face here and then press S to scale out just so that we have a more bottom heavy uh, looking uh, animal or instead of pressing S uh, to scale out generally, I think it's better to press S and X to just widen it instead of make it thicker at the back as well. All right, so this is how our teddy bear is looking. Maybe we can just press A and S and Y to scale out just a bit like so. And then what we need to do is just make the arms and the legs of our teddy bear. Um, but maybe before we do that, what I can do is just add in a edge loop here, press S to scale on the X axis, select this bottom face and just press G and Y or G and Z to bring it down and then press S and X to scale it in like so. Now we have more of a, I would say, uh, interesting figure to our bear. Alt click this edge loop here and then press G and Z to bring down like so. And then maybe press L and just scale down the body just so that it's more proportional with the rest of the, uh, the head and the snout. Did a lot of tweaking there, but it's important to get things right. So don't be afraid to go forward and back when creating your character. So now we can create the arms and the legs. And since the arms and the legs are symmetrical, um, what we can do is just create uh, one arm and one leg and then just duplicate it to the other side. So again, tab into edit mode, press shift A and add in a cube. And then we will move it over to this side here. And the arm will be very simple. 
first of all, just pull it out, press G and X, and then press E, and then press S to scale, like so, just to scale out the arm. What we can do is alt click this edge loop here and scale it like so. And then press L and just move it into the arm a little bit. Again, have a bit of separation. And what I'll do is press R to rotate just so that it is um, pointing down a little bit. But again, just be careful with uh, how close you want your teddy bear to uh, be to its body or it's the arm to be to its body, I should say. And then also for the fit, uh, I'll select this face here at the end of the arm and then press G and just move it in like so. Just making tweaks and adjustments just because I want my bear to have a very good form before we actually start sculpting for real. Okay, G and Z, just move up like so. Rotate and then it's okay if we push it in a little bit. It'll be fine, it's not, it's not the end of the world. So I'll just press G and just move this face up like so. Okay. And then what we can do is just create the legs by pressing L to duplicate the, the arm, press shift D and move it to the bottom here. And then what I can do is press R and 90 to rotate it 90 degrees on the Y axis or on the X axis, I should say. And then I will position it at the bottom of uh, the body here and just move it and rotate it from the top view like so. Then I'll press G and just move it to about here. And what we can do is just place the leg slightly under the uh, the bottom part of the body. Um, this part is fine to blend with the, uh, with the rest of the body. So we can just kind of have it overlapping like so. Now the leg should be a bit bigger, so I'll just press S to scale and then press G to move like so. Maybe that was a bit too much. And then for the feet, big feet are quite nice on uh, teddy bears. So I'll just press S to scale like so. And maybe press S, X and whoops, press S and yep, Z, I think, to scale up a bit. And there we go. We have the um, the feet done. Let me just make a few adjustments to the body. Maybe bringing out the tummy a bit more would be uh, quite cute, I would say. And then the back as well. Whoops. Go into right view. And then press G and Y to bring back like so. Also, for the head, I can do something similar. Whoops. Go into side view and then press G and Y like so. And that looks pretty good. So now I will select the arm and the leg by pressing L and L here. And then what we can do is duplicate it to the other side. And a quick hack to do this is to have your, your 3D cursor in the center. So if it's not in the center, just press Shift and C. And then press the full stop or period key on your keyboard. And it will bring up all of these uh, selections, basically where your object will be uh, rotated or transformed from. So we want it to be transformed from the 3D cursor. And this means that any transformation will be about the 3D cursor. So if I rotate it, it's rotating around the 3D cursor. So what we can do is press Shift D, then right click to uh, cancel its movement, and then press S, X, and minus one. And now we have flipped it or scaled it negative one on the X axis and about this center point here. So now we have almost completed our bear. All we need to do is just create some of the ears, a very basic shape of the ears, and then we will be done. So let me just, I've just selected this top face here, and then I will press S to scale out the head a bit more, just so that we have, again, that cute appearance to the head. So I'll just press L to select all of these parts here. And again, having a big head works to our favor whenever we're sculpting teddy bears or plushies or anything like that. And then what we can do to make the ear is press shift A, add in the cube, press G and Z to drag it up like so. Then press S and Y to scale down, press S to scale up a bit. And then to make the ear, what I can do, let me just move it up just so that I can work in it in isolation. Very simple shape. All I need to do is press uh, control R, drag it down like so. Then maybe just bring this top face here. Bring it down a little bit, 
press A, whoops, press L, I should say, and then press S and X to scale it out a bit more. And then what I can do is press Control R to add in an edge loop. I'll just press right click to cancel this movement. And then what I can do is select this edge here and press G and Z to drag it up. And then I will select this edge, shift select this edge here, and then press G and Z to drag it down a tiny bit. So that is a very basic ear. And what we can do is just press L, G, and then rotate it, whoops, rotate it until it fits snugly within the head of our teddy bear. So I'll just position it around here. You can position it wherever you feel like it looks best. I'm just scaling it out on the uh, Y axis to add some extra thickness to our, um, to the ear. And then what I can do is just do the same technique as before. So press the full stop key, period key, and then select 3D cursor, press Shift D, S, X, minus one, and there we go. So we have our teddy bear pretty much done. I'll just make a few more tweaks and adjustments. Maybe just scale out the, uh, the arm here. And then also this face here, I will scale up or move as well into the body. So I'll just press G, move it in like so. Press S to scale. Um, the arms are looking quite small. And then what I can do is just scale up the leg as well. So what I'll need to do is just delete these, whoops, delete these arms here because they're no longer symmetrical, but it's fine. We can quickly add that back in. Press S to scale these ones out. So I've just selected those two edges and then I will select this edge here, this edge here, scale as well. And I think this looks much better. So I can press L, L, once again, Shift D, S. Whoops, I almost forgot that I need to enable the pivot point at the 3D cursor. And then I will press S, X, and minus one. And I think that is pretty much done. Our bear is complete. One thing we could do is just add in a tiny tail, which is very easy to do. Add in your cube, press G, place it at the behind of your bear. Uh, if you want to extrude it or pull it out a bit more, just grab the face here and then press G and Y like so. Also, just for the legs, let me just move them up just so that the bear is more, uh, it's more like it's sitting. Whoops, I selected that face as well. So let me just undo and press L, L, go into right view and just move the legs up and a bit forward as well. So then just press G and move them like so. All right, so that is it for the character block out phase for the teddy bear. Um, this will be available for you to download. So if you're not very happy with your character block out, that's completely fine. You can just download this one and we can move straight to sculpting. So with that all done, I will see you in the next video where we actually start sculpting our teddy bear and creating a quite a very cute sculpture.